if you don't like eating alone, here are a few things you can do. Number one, you can bring something to do. And I know you know this, but do something around other people. Like you sit at a table and you do your work or you can watch something or whatever it is. And when you're at that table, someone could walk up to you and sit with you. And that's a way for you to look up and get to meet someone. So it's not like you are eating alone because you don't know anyone. It's because you need to do work and you need to eat. See, this is one of the big things that people get wrong. When you eat alone, it's not a sign that you are a loser. It's a sign that you're hungry and you are eating alone. That's it. Sometimes you want to do work, sometimes you sit with people, sometimes you don't. The other thing is you could sit at a table with someone and you can say, hey, do you mind if I sit here? And then you can do work or you can say hi. It doesn't have to be that big of a conversation, but just sitting with someone is key. And then eating meals outside your room. When you eat outside of your room and you're in a place where you're around people, you might see someone from class, you might see someone from where you live, you might see a professor, you might see someone. So. Even if you don't want to eat in the dining hall on your own, eat somewhere else where you can be around people and keep yourself busy and don't worry what other people think because you know what? You're hungry and you're sitting alone.